guys. Hello, hello, everybody. How are you doing here? Love seeing you guys. Hello, hello, Green Bay. Hi, Maggie. How are you? Look at these cute little pumpkins I'm going to be painting. Give me a second, and I apologize. I, I need to share this over on my Facebook page. I don't know how this will work. I know they probably do not like me doing that over there, but that's how it has to be right now. All right, hello, all my friends over here on YouTube. Let me push this over. If you are brand new here on my YouTube channel, my name is Kelly Weiler. I'm the owner of Girl Upcycled Studio, and my studio is in Ohio in this little town called Zanesville. And we are just about an hour east of Columbus. So um, if you're ever coming, coming through, just pop in and say hi. Okay, you make sure everything, everything looks pretty good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. One momento. If you, um, if you are new here though, tell me your name, let me know where you're from, because that kind of gives me a chance to kind of get to know you a little bit. And I'm trying to spend a little more time here on YouTube. So, um, hello, let's see, hello Dana, how are you? Um, okay, let's see how, what happens. All right, so this is what we're gonna be painting. I just got the brand new goods in from the DIY paint line. So that's what I'm using today. I've been playing because I have been away at a big show all weekend. So I was trying to do, to launch the paint there at the show. So I didn't get to play, you know, like I wanted to. I was watching all my friends play with the paint and I was like, oh, I was having FOMO, which is the fear of missing out because I was. So look at all these pretty colors. This is what I'm gonna be painting. I just painted this live in my Creators Club at two o'clock today. Um, and just kind of showing them a little bit of, you know, floral demonstration on home decor. So these are just, um, those are the new colors you used on the pumpkins. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Yes, aren't they pretty? Now, this is our original line. Beautiful. Just as beautiful. So, I mean, now we just have more beauty, is what I'm thinking. So, I know, right? So, um, this one I painted last year, and this is kind of my demo because I hold live classes in my studio. So, this is from last year, and then I just made this one this year. So, in my Creators Club, we do a like a floral study once a month. And this was our floral study this month. I just thought we would have fun and kind of do a little bit of doodling. And I'll give you a little close up of how beautiful and vibrant these colors are. So on this one, my base coat, just so you'll know in case you need a reference, my base coat was, and I'm still learning, Tarnished Pearl was the base coat my blue florals that I used. I started off with Monet's Garden. Oop, I lied. See, I'm still learning. Not Monet's Garden. It was um, Water Lily. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm still learning all these colors. It takes me a minute and I can't find that one. Here it is. It was behind me. It was hiding. Water Lily. And I have a little bit of tarnished pearl that is up, mixed up in there. Okay, and then um, blue iris. So you can tell I mixed those two colors into the blue. Okay, so then we're gonna go on to the flowers that are a little bit warmer. And what I used for this one is cherry picked, which is kind of like, actually my base coat was the orange one. So I started off with fire starter as my base, then I watered down Cherry Picker, which
which is this one. See how deep and dark it is? So I had to water it down quite a bit because I did not want it to completely cover up all of that beautiful orange tone of the fire starter, okay? And then I went over to my new greens, um, which was Salty Kiss and Monet's Garden. Now I can say my name. So I started off with Monet's Garden and I went in with Salty Kiss, added some highlights into my greenery Cherry Picker isn't a purple. It's, yeah, it's like a, did I say it was not purple? I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Cherry, Cherry Picked is like a deep, it almost looks like an eggplant kind of color. So I think it's going more towards the black cherry. And I apologize, I'm so, no, they did Sunday. Okay, so, um, I missed all of the promos because I was at a show. So I think what they were going for was like um, like a black cherry kind of a look, which they nailed it. So beautiful. So that's what I used here. Um, some of my brighter highlights with, with the yellowy is the liquid sunshine. So, and you can see how beautiful it turned out. The colors just are amazing. So I did this on just paper mache the back isn't painted yet it's just paper mache this came from a company called Darcy and I have these in here um, at my studio to do classes with so um, not only do I have the pumpkins but I also have the leaves so today with all of you I'm gonna paint the leaf and we're gonna do some florals on the leaf and maybe some little bit different combinations and y'all can watch, okay? So I'm just having fun today and excuse all of my mess behind me. Since I was away for the weekend, my place looks like a cyclone went through it or a tornado or two or something. So, so I'm gonna try to spare you. I'm gonna change my angle of my camera so that y'all can see. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna to try to pull you up on my laptop so that I can see any questions. Sometimes I miss them. I'm still getting used to the, um, the lives here on YouTube. So I'll just apologize if I missed anything. <laughs> um, okay, hello everybody. I can see you a little bit better up from my laptop. Okay, it looks like we have a good picture. All right, I'm just gonna do some fun florals and I'm just gonna kind of show you um, how I do the florals, be it good, be it bad. And I think, what am I gonna start with? I've got my base is the orange, which is fire starter. And I will drop the links I sell this right from my website and I am located in Ohio. So if you are, how different is Fire Star, Starter Orange from Summer Crush? Oh, wow. Summer Crush is more of a burnt orange, whereas this is bright. See, see how bright that is? So um, the, I'm trying to see if I have something that I could show you and I don't think that I do. It's more of like maybe a terracotta-ish esque kind of an orange. It's it's deeper um, whereas this has a, a bright pop to it. So that's my base and my florals that I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use um, some of the blues, some of the yellows, um, what else? And maybe some white. Let's see. I didn't really have a plan here. Let's start with, and I just have a number 12 brush. I will be using um, at some point, actually I painted the base of this with the turquoise iris assistant brush, which was perfect for painting the base because it's kind of wider. She has some really nice high quality brushes. I don't know if you've tried her brushes. Very, very nice quality. In fact, when I have my classes, I hoard them and I don't let, <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody, but I don't let my students use them because I save these for myself because um, 
uh, I know that sounds really stingy, right? But here's the deal. When you have classes and a lot, sometimes, um, you know, it's like ladies night out and they might be drinking a little bit. They leave the brushes in the water and your brushes get damaged. So yeah. And so I kind of want to take care of those brushes. So I am just kind of going to go down the side. If at any time you can't see very well, just give me a shout, let me know. So this is blue iris that I'm working with right now. And I'm just kind of, I've got a fan right above me and it dries out a little bit. So I'm gonna keep dipping in. So I'm just making kind of a blob really and I have to laugh when I say that because when I have classes in here some of my painters get real frustrated and they go oh man mine looks like a blob and I'm like well then you're doing it right <laughs> that's what you're going for so it's kind of funny but everybody gets a little bit too way too hard on themselves you know what I mean have fun with it you guys so if you want to notice I am holding my brush clear at the tip I'm just and you can roll it if you want while you're painting and what this causes you to do is you're gonna kind of be very loose while you're painting and this is just a fun little project guys isn't like we're not painting for a museum quality here we're just having a little fun right so so allow yourself to have fun you can do this on oh really anything you could do this on a terracotta pot you could do this on any kind of home decor I, when I was at my show, I painted some lampshades and I had some fun florals that I had painted. And so I, um, so I just had fun with it, similar to this. I need a little scoop or something here, don't I? You're really supposed to pour your paint out when you're using it. This is water lily, by the way, that I just poured out. Um, I'm kind of bad about, you know, doing as I preach. So I'm kind of a do as I say <laughs> kind of person when I'm teaching. But I have to say, I do go through, I do go through the paint pretty quickly. So, so now I'm going over top of it with the water lily okay again painting loosely if you want it to blend more all you have to do is add water and it'll blend a little bit more okay but I'm using that tip and I'm kind of just swirling it swirling in those layers around so you can see already how that kind of looks a little bit better already let me see if I can is that better Um, it's going to really kind of give you almost the ladies in my paint group said it looked like reminded them of a hydrangea and I have to agree so just barely even touching and I'm just kind of loosely swirling around and And that's all we're going to do for that is we're going to keep going back and forth in those two colors for right now and we're going to kind of just swirl it just really light touches if you have any questions please let me know um how different is fire okay i already read that one okay 
So I'm going back and forth. <laughs> really been enjoying my day. I, I must say I told the ladies I missed them in my group. Um, it's just always such a... This is my relaxing kind of you know the way you feel when you do yoga well this is kind of my yoga I guess and we were talking about different things that some of us had going on um, some ailments and back pain and things and that was the one thing we were talking about you know when we're creating it just kind of makes all of that go away so I highly recommend it if you suffer from anything and we were talking about depression we had one gal that had just lost her little her little family dog and so they were you know going through that that's the same as losing a family member in my opinion I know some people might think that's a bit much but I really think that um, you know when I lost our family dog cricket I kind of went into depression and I didn't really realize it so I was encouraging her to try to make herself um, create if she could just to give herself an hour or two to enjoy and um, help her through you know what she was going through so I don't know if anybody else is that way but it really does it really does make a difference so back and forth it's kind of all I'm doing if it would be better if you I guess it doesn't matter since it's just a pattern that I'm making but I usually try to get the camera to where it's you know you see what I'm seeing I guess I'll get better at that as I go um so holding this brush clear at the end is really really helpful to train yourself to do that just so you can see how loose I'm painting I'm just kind of pushing it around really it's almost similar to how you know like a watercolor artist would paint or they're just pushing it kind of pushing it along you can also when you're using this paint you can also do just what a watercolor artist does like you could pre moisten the area and then drop the water on there and it would it would kind of just expand I don't know if that makes sense how I explain that um, let's see. oh hi there let's see Hi, Mama Jo. Is this Jo? Is this Jo from Zanesville? I think it is. I want you to know I've not forgotten you. I've got your order. It's all packed up. I just need to get it labeled. And so I'm planning on sending that out to you tomorrow. <laughs> that show that I did just kind of has me all messed up as far as my schedule let's put one up over here let's do a little cluster I like to paint kind of like off of the sides on this kind of three-dimensional two-dimensional whatever kind of stuff yes okay good thank you I know you 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 knew that I was out of town and all that 
boy girl I just was telling my group it, it takes me like two days to get over shows like that anymore just can't do it like I used to just can't do it so I'm just going to it's really drying out super fast on me right now so I'm gonna add a little bit of water Using just the tip of that brush, I'm just kind of adding some little squiggles, for lack of a better word. I think if I was talking in artist terms, they might call that scumbling, maybe scumble. But we don't get all fancy here because it's it's the same as scribbling. <laughs> I don't like to be a, I'm not a pretentious painter because honestly, you can learn this stuff. Anyone can learn this. I've taught many, so I don't want people to feel like they can't learn. You can't, like, you have an interest in art, there's, you can learn it. People don't just wake up out of their you know, as a baby and do this stuff. I know how to do it. Even if they have a knack for it, they learn more technique, you know, and, and get better, so. Um, lots of fun, but lots of work. Yep, that is so true. An amazing teacher. Oh, thank you. You taught me, and I thought I was unteachable. No, you you did a great job, Joe. I must say. You really did. I was very, very pleased. So I'm just, I'm just making little marks. And honestly, gang, when you're doing stuff like this, it's all about all those little layers, okay? So you can take something that looks very flat and by adding all the extra layers of color, it gives it that realistic kind of look. Anybody doing anything fun today? I know, um, I, I had my group, which is the Creators Club. I will be opening it again sometime this month. So if you're interested, you can get in on that if you would like. I got a lot of freebies that go along with that too, once you enter. Um, but other than that, I have been trying to pull this place back together because it literally looks like a tornado went through. <laughs> that blue is gorgeous. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Thank you. Um, Leslie, this is blue iris and I have mixed it. So we've got blue iris and I have mixed it with water lily and it gives us beautiful um, almost on this one it looks like a um, hydrangea so those are the colors that I mixed I have all these colors in house by the way um, I am working on it and hopefully when I get home tonight I'm gonna get a little glass of wine and I'm going to try to go over my website, make sure everything's ready so that I can, you know, if you're in, if you need to order, you can just do that from my website. So, so I'll make sure I'll, I'll do my inventory as soon as I get done here. And then, yeah, as soon as it's safe to go live, you can just order it. I ship it right out. I ship it myself too. So if something happens and your shipping gets wacky 
let me know or if I catch it I can fix it on my end I'm fairly I just started selling um, all the stuff online at the beginning of the year and I'm still trying to figure out the how to get all the proper shipping it's like I don't know they're really good at the post office though I must say about helping me can you add some things to your order you sure can um, Joe, um, are you going to, you're not picking it up, are you? You want me to send it? So what you can do, Joe, is go ahead and order what you want. And any money that needs, that goes over your shipping, I will just do a refund to your card for you, okay? I'm not in it to make money on shipping, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not that girl. So, so now... If you notice, I've got the layer of the blue iris on there. I've got the water lily on top of it, okay? And this, it dries so quick. See how quickly that dries? Okay, so now I'll take some, dip in just that little tip into the blue iris again, and I'm going to do another little scumble or little scribble as I like to call it drying out I've got I should probably should turn that fan down I got a little bit of water that just kind of puddled there so I'm just going to drop that pick that up easy as that right so if any of you are interested in the creators club we don't just do things like this um, I teach three different classes a month as well as we do so the first Tuesday of the month we do an intuitive art because I feel like intuitive art is important for all of the members in there to know how to do um, we also do a floral study or some kind of a floral every month see how pretty that looked with that dark added um, and then the third class is usually like a member's choice. So, um, so like last month they were asking about, they wanted to do, it was a toss up. I had figurative and I have ad abstract. So I combined that and we did a figurative abstract and man, they are just, they're doing so good. So proud. I'm a proud mama, but, um, we change it up and then every month I do a Q&A and then a creative encouragement. So, I'm really, really enjoying it there. So, along with, I'm just kind of dipping into water as I go, along with that when you join you get all of the previous classes. There are, I should count them. There are, I don't know if I'm always gonna keep it that way because I know that's maybe not fair to everybody that's been in there, but what I want is for people when they're new to come in and they'll have plenty to do. I have a series of paintings that are called Splatter and Chatters and they are step by step. So those are like for beginners. So when beginners get in there, they have a place to go. They don't feel lost, you know? All right. So good. Let's see. I need, I feel like I need some more wear. I should have changed my water. here since this is right kind of in the middle and this when you do um, home decor pieces like this you want to think about how it's going to stand up or how you're going to display it some people might hang it and display it this way or straight up um, I sit mine like this 
when I have it here in the studio. So you do want to kind of think about that when you're working on a piece that's you know, these strange little shapes, right? get in there while it's still wet I think and put my little squiggles if you can get in there while it's still wet with the DIY paint it'll just kind of automatically give you that texture and that blending and that just that really yummy blending and depth is the word I'm looking for it gives it some depth right and then if you don't like it and it's still wet, you can blend it in. So very, very, very light, light touch. That's what I'm doing right here. Um, okay, I see that. You have a couple of pieces you're gonna start, huh? Good for you. Is that, um, are you talking furniture? Because I'm a furniture painter too. I am, I'm an artist. I do art on furniture, <laughs> which I know sounds a little, maybe not the norm, but it's kind of just been my specialty um, to do, you know, kind of little specialty. I figure I've got the talent and I should use it in, and then I teach people how to do, um, you know, if they want to learn how to paint their furniture and distress it, I can teach them how to do that. But hopefully I'm also teaching them how to do some of the artwork on their furniture as well. Oh, these colors are so fun. Oh, cool. So I think I'm liking this. So I think I want to jump into another color. And I'm thinking maybe, what do you think about the liquid sunshine against it? Or what else? I, I could maybe, I'm thinking maybe even I could mix. I might mix these two. I think I'll mix the tarnished pearl and I'll do a little bit of pops of yellow into it too. That could be interesting. I'm thinking, did you get your chair done that you started? Oh, wasn't that beautiful? No. And actually, oh, I kind of forgot, Leslie. I actually was going to go live and do that on my Facebook and um, YouTube, but I I'm here doing this. I, I, I don't know. I hey, I told you my brain is not is not working good today. Forgot. But yeah, I will be finishing that up. So I've got the back of it like half and half. So I'll be able to to do a nice little demo. It's looking really, really pretty. So what Leslie is talking about is I have this beautiful vintage chair that I found that has these beautiful tufts in it. And so I, I was painting that live um, when I was at the, work, the workshop, when I was at the show. See you guys, I am like, I can't talk today. So this is pearl tarnished pearl over top of okay, fire starter I almost forgot the name of it um, so 
I'm not adding a whole lot of water because I'm trying to get that to cover, okay? If you want it more translucent, like maybe you do want some of that to show through, then all you have to do is simply water it down a little bit more and you'll be able to see some of that show through. I'm not really wanting to do that, so I'm just gonna go over top of that. Boy, I really needed this today, so I told the ladies it was so relaxing. Does anybody else get that, or is it just me? This is like so relaxing to paint. Like really this is just kind of doodling for me. Just kind of little doodles. I was telling the ladies in my group today, I was laughing because I used to get in trouble in school by my teachers for doodling. And so I've ran into a couple of them since then and I said, uh huh, you used to yell at me for doing this, now look at me. And they just giggled and laughed. <laughs> you know, I kind of feel like, you know, you kind of, kids, kids are who they are. So I'm gonna, I had a really hard time in school and I, well, now that I'm older, I recognize I probably had ADD maybe a little dyslexia too um, but you know they didn't they didn't they didn't know that back then so it just was very hard for me to stay focused um, so, so I really struggled there were a few teachers that really were interesting that I could really just you know, it was the way they taught that they were able to capture my attention. And it wasn't necessarily that they were, um, you know, one was one in particular was actually very strict. But man, the way he taught, he was so interesting. I, I don't know, there was just something about him that caught my attention. So... I always kind of feel sorry for kids and, and adults too. There's a lot of adults that maybe haven't been diagnosed or don't recognize maybe that they have something like that going on. And I definitely do. So I, whoops. So I have to kind of watch, you know, be very careful. Um, Having the phones and the electronics have really helped me, which I know you'd think would be the opposite, but I can keep track of everything on my phone. My notes, everything. Calendar, it's all in one place. Every time I go buy a planner, I leave it laying somewhere or I forget to write something down. try my hand at wet distressing if you have any trouble you let me know um, Cheryl from Deep Creek Vintage you guys will want to check her out she is very talented um, and she's also in my creators club so yeah we talked earlier today Leslie she says I argued with the teacher over my son doodling it was how he paid attention in class he had yep Thank you, Leslie. That is, yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. It was literally, I just, it was my, like I would zone out if I couldn't. Um, I just needed to be doing something. And even to this day, I, I wouldn't say I'm a hyper person, so to say I have the ADHD. I'm not hyper. But like if I'm sitting 
unless I'm at home just exhausted, but if I'm sitting somewhere and my legs crossed and my leg will be bouncing, I'll, I'll be rocking my, my foot. So, <laughs> and I remember one time, it was when I first met my father-in-law, or well, it wasn't long after, and um, I was sitting um, in their living room, and he was kind of like, sit back, sit still, are you okay? And I was just kind of like, oh, it just embarrassed me, because I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, as an adult, you know, I was young adult, but still it was so embarrassing, because I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize I was doing it. <laughs> He loves me though. Yeah, I don't know that he's, he still knows that there's something that I have that, but <laughs> it's just, I don't really talk about it much. I like to keep people wondering. Let them wonder, what the heck's wrong with that girl? <laughs> right? I don't know how this will look on here. I'm gonna, let's see. Ooh. What do you think? Oh my goodness, gang. I'm gonna to have to plug in my phone. Hold on one second. Let me plug in real quick. I'm, I just have it right here. Do you like the yellow? <laughs> oh, Cheryl, I adore you. Thank you so much for saying that. I adore you. So, okay, so talking about the Creators Club, so Cheryl and all of the ladies on there, we were talking about doing like a live art workshop together at Cheryl's in Virginia. So that'll be, I hope that we can make something like that happen. the layers right Let's see. there that's better and I'm gonna go over a little bit yes 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 she loved mama Joe loves the yellow and Leslie said that would be nice Leslie was in my group too, weren't you, girl? I've got a lot of locals on my YouTube channel. That's cr that's so wild. That's how you, did you guys see the um, Facebook? How did you guys know I was on YouTube? Because I could not get my double. Um, I was trying to do a double, a double video. I'm trying to be all fancy, you know. Just trying to be fancy. No, I'm just not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not all that techy. I need to figure it out though. I really love when I watch the um, some of the videos here on YouTube. Some of the artists that I watch have a camera on their work, and then they have one that's kind of of their face too so that way I can you know actually be looking at you and talking to you once in a while if I need to so I hope to get to that point um, YouTube notification popped up awesome clearing out I was clearing out my notifications and saw you were on oh cool awesome what have you been up to I haven't seen you in a while Leslie works at our local Hobby Lobby, and I see a, I'm in there a good bit, right, Leslie? <laughs> so I am really dipping into the liquid sunshine, and I, I've got my brush fairly wet, okay? 
So, yeah, Cheryl, I, she said you've been busy today. I have, but guess what? I've been painting. I, I've been playing. My studio is still a hot mess. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, well. It'll get cleaned, right? So if I have customers tomorrow, I'm going to have to have them sign, like, a legal document before they walk in here. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's probably true because it is really bad. Now I'm going to try to get it, try to come in a little bit early and get it cleaned up. Yeah, I like that yellow. Here's the thing, I've got these new colors and I haven't had a chance to play with them, right? So I thought I could just do these little projects just to give me a chance to play. <laughs> Need to stop in and check out the IOD. Oh, girl, you will die. The IOD stuff was flying off of the shelves at the um, show I just did. People were just, they were just like, they amazed. They had not seen it before, so. So I got a lot of really good contacts, I think, to be in there. It's, it's so easy to use. I did have a customer say that she accidentally let hers stick onto itself, so she damaged some of it. I felt so bad, but you, you got to make sure that you do not let the transfer touch back onto itself. That's pretty. All right. We're ready for some green, right? We've got Avery. Avery and Salty Kiss. And what else do we have? Monet. So here's my, my new greens that I have. So we have Avery. Avery's more like a sagey green. And then Monet's Garden is, is more like a deeper kind of want to say it's a little more teal it's not not dark it's not as dark as the boho it's more green than the boho and then we've got look salty kiss so these are going to be really really pretty to um, to use on the leaves which is what I'm going to do now all right Salty Kiss is my new fave. Oh, thanks, Leslie. Monet's Garden, too. Yeah, I know. Um, what is my favorite one? I don't know. This is, I'm really enjoying the water lily. It's very pretty. I'm going to put that back up there. Let's go into the Monet's Garden. And I just have, this is just a cheap round number 12 brush. Um, these are what I use in my classes. Um, I do have Dion's brushes. These are really, really nice for those of you that create art. These are really nice. I've got um, all of them. I just, I don't have the rest of them in front of me because they were packed away. So let's go in here and just, I'm going to fill up this middle section here. And I'm going to push and I'm turning my turning my brush just a little bit because you don't really want it just so perfect right there you go so my brush let's do let's maybe do let's see And this will kind of lighten up just slightly as it dries if the let's see if the greens love all the new blues yep all right so let's do let's do like a leaf 
here and I'm going to turn my brush and just see how I'm turning it as I'm working. There you go. I just don't want it like this perfect little smile of a now, if you're painting more like a whimsical, well, this is a little whimsical actually, but you can do like, here, I'll show you in a minute. Right down in there. You know what I'm saying? Like the, like if you were to do just like a leaf like this, more like a little whimsical leaf but I want it to be a little more what's the word <laughs> painterly so I'm pushing down and it makes it get wide and I'm kind of like twisting it and I'll just pull see how it's drying just a little bit lighter there is it okay to use painters tape on the chalk paint before it's sealed yes you can just make sure it's nice and dry okay something else you'll want to do too is you can go on top of some of the flowers too okay so you don't have to just be like yeah like this one let's go right over top you don't have to feel like you just can only go to the sides right so that's going to give it some movement it's going to give it some shape in the colors. Love, love, love. Everybody glad school's back in or is anybody affected by that? <laughs> it's like I kind of am but then I kind of am not because my daughter is learning to drive so therefore she wakes me up so she can drive to school every morning <laughs> so I'm kind of like yeah first thing in the morning I get to have my life flash before my eyes <laughs> I'm like oh my gosh I at least need my coffee first handle this stress. Don't tell her I said that. Sorry, I totally had that off of the video, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Leslie, I got this leaf from, what did I tell you earlier? <laughs> Darcy's is the name of it. I got two cases. I got a case of the leaves and a case of the pumpkins. So, yep. Alright, so we got that done. Let's go through with... I can go through with a little apron. 
ivory. And I'm just going to do like a really quick not going to show up very much, but we're just going to put a little texture in there and give it a little depth, right? All right. Now I'm going to go in, let's see, daughter is a professor, so I will always be affected when school is in. Miss her. She's Stacy. I bet you do. Is she in town, Joe? My kids started driving in the winter. Oh, Lord. I see a clock. Yes. Hey, um, actually, yes. I'm getting ready. I just put it on my calendar. Let me see if I can let you all know. I've got it on the calendar. I don't have it on my website yet. But I am looking at... What do you think about a Thursday? Like the 26th? A Thursday night I'm thinking about doing that does that work for anybody Twenty minutes from the Gulf Shore horrible place to visit sarcasm yeah right yes I feel so sorry for you just be horrible Joe just be horrible Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm taking the Salty Kiss, which is this, like, really yummy bright, and I'm going to just kind of, like, put in some little marks here on the green, some highlight just here and there. Not the whole thing. So what we're doing is we're kind of making it look like it has just light hitting it different ways. It's, it's bent and it's crinkly, right? Leaves aren't always just this flat surface. It's bendy and it catches some light, catches some sun. So that's kind of what we're doing so I don't know if you can see that very well I will try to let you see it it looks to me like the yellow needs a little a little something something Need a little something something um but what but what does it mean I could use my existing colors. Probably the purple would be way too dark. So, let me think. What do y'all think I should add with my yellow? Let me go grab some of my other colors. I'll pull them a little closer. be kind of cool. I know this is, might throw you off a minute. I've got prairie gray. I'm thinking that could be pretty cool mixed in with the, and I'll show you. Hopefully it's not an epic fail, and if it is, guess what? It's just paint, and we can paint right over it, right? So I have wet my brush down quite a bit, and put it into the paint. I made this kind of a wash, I don't know if you can see. And I'm kind of rolling my brush and pulling it towards me so that I get that, see that little point? I'm getting that little point on it. And I'm gonna try to do that little, little scumble or little whatever we wanna call it. Just do some little squiggles. What do you think? As it dries, it should lighten just a little bit. 
salty kiss. Yes. Agreed. Yellow is bright. Beautiful, but understated. Would the pearl over top work? Yeah, I could do some pearl over top. Actually, I may go back in and do a little more with the squiggles. Scumble. Scumble squiggles. gray is always kind of one of my favorites. It's, I use it for a lot of you know different paintings that I do. It's if you see it dries it's drying a little bit softer. need to stay tuned too. I have a really, really nice tutorial I'm getting ready to release, so be watching for that. Hopefully, um, I might get it on there by tomorrow here on YouTube. I am really, really enjoying the whole YouTube thing, and I really, um, it's a place that I'm at anyway uh, a lot a bit. Sometimes I'm just listening to videos or I'm listening to speakers. So it's kind of nice to be, to be able to have a channel here. If you have not heard yet, um, in December, we are doing a workshop here. Um, Dion Woods and myself will be doing a paint workshop. It will be a furniture painting and art workshop along with business, business tips and business um, info. But when Debbie Beard heard that Dion was coming, she said she wanted to come. So now she's coming too. And she will be here to answer questions and meet and greet. And I just am so excited about that. So, if you um, wanna get in line for tickets, when tickets go on sale, you can go to my website and get on the email list so you get a notification as soon as those tickets go on sale because we have it limited. I want to say maybe it's limited to like 50 or so, something like that. So, yeah. So, especially if you are in the business um, or an artist that wants to be in the business and you want to pick our brains and you want to kind of hear like what's worked for us and what hasn't worked for us even it's going to be a good place to find out yeah i really like that i really like the little prairie grace marks on there i think it helped it didn't it so i will go back in because i do think it needs to Doing the same thing with the tarnished pearl. So I'm just going layer over layer is really it. Layer over layer. I feel like that needs to be a little thinner. If you get it too, it is an opaque paint. Okay. It's a very matte, opaque. That means opaque. That means that it covers really well. So, which is good when you're painting furniture because a lot of times you only have to do a coat. But when you are doing artwork, 
and you want it more translucent, you need to make sure that you remember to add enough water or um, if you're not using water, you can use like oh, some kind of a, well, you could even use the DIY patina if you wanted to, to dilute it along with the water. about the layers. And then the last thing that I did, let's go in here and went in and grab my water lily. So I don't want to go in with the straight tarnished pearl to highlight on top of that water lily, but I can mix in a little bit of the tarnished pearl to it. So it's gonna have some have some highlights, but it's not gonna be in your face white. It's still gonna be blue, right? It's still gonna be that. Sitting here thinking about what am I going to have for dinner? So you don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. But have you all eaten your dinner yet, everybody? Now, if you don't like seeing the lines like I have, Oh, Leslie, I'm coming over for tacos, girl. Get your tacos out. Don't put them away. Come over. <laughs> Just teasing you. My husband made steaks for lunch. He's on second. So he's got a steak that he made. He said he'd save it for me for when I get home. So I'm not always in the mood for... I know this, I'm probably weird. I'm just not always in the mood for steak, but... So if you don't want all the movement going on, you can just simply add water and do a little more blending. And I think I'm pretty much close to being done. I may, I may do the same thing with the Salty Kiss here and dip in and mix it with a little bit of the Tarnished Pearl. here and there on the leaves. Don't have to be, don't have to be a, a long thing, guys, to slap it on there. We're just kind of giving that illusion of the leaves. I don't know. I feel like it needs something else, but I think I'm going to stop at this. Um, so on my other ones, let me raise the, the one that favorite in emerald what this is salty kiss it is kind of an emerald isn't it so we have three different little florals that I think turned out pretty darn cute so this is all of the original colors from the DIY paint line and then these are the brand new colors here and my leaf. Brand new. So I kind of feel like it needs a little something else on the leaf, but I'm not sure what. And I would love your input. Do you think it needs a little, the leaf needs something else? I almost feel like it needs some vines. Some, some kind of like little wooded vines or something so but this is going to be a class that I'm going to be holding here in my workshop area in my studio 
So be watching for that, those of you that are local and you want to get in on this. Leftover night here. Oh, that's fine. Leftovers are good. So, um, this is, no, this is not Summer Crush. This is the new one, which is called Firestarter. It's a little bit brighter. The Summer Crush is more of a burnt, I would say like a burnt orange. Let me go up close so y'all can see. And if you want to, you could seal this, you could do wax, you could do a clear coat, whatever. And it'll sit like this. I have these for sale in here. If anybody wants to buy one, you can buy one. If you want me to ship it, I can ship one out to you. That's cool too. I kind of feel like I need to add some vines or something. So I'll probably do that tomorrow or something. But anyway, um, also on the pumpkins, I just added a little, bit of roping and tied it around. I thought that was cute. But that's really all she wrote, gang. Any questions? I'm going to give you just a second. And those of you catching this on the replay, if you do have questions, you can just um, put it in the comment section. So if you really love to learn about art, upcycling, and DIY, you want to make sure that you subscribe and you hit that little button so you get notified when I go live. Um, like I said, I do have some really good videos that are coming up. Hopefully I can get one up tomorrow. I'm almost done with it. Um, and um, it's just a it's just a fun place to be and I really really enjoy meeting all of the other creatives here on YouTube so make sure you subscribe and hit that little button and I will talk to you during the next video okay thank you Joe thank you everybody for hanging out talk to y'all soon bye